Anyway, we're getting to the end of the opera Salome, and uh, Salome has done the Dance of the Seven Veils, and uh, she's made a deal with Herod that she will be paid anything that she asks for after the dance. The scene goes on and on. Finally, after Herod has offered her everything that he has, you know, every piece of jewelry, every piece of this, even his peacocks, finally Salome says, I want the head of Yohanan. And we hear uh, very violent statements of the, in the orchestra of uh, Herod's motive, which is often a whole tone scale. Yeah? Plus the moon motive. And all these things going on. And finally he gives up. Geben, was sie verlangt. Ist ihre Wahrheit, ihre Mutterkind. She's really her mother's daughter. Now we hear some motives here. This motive is the command from Herod to execute somebody, to kill somebody. Then we hear at the same time these whooping horn figures, which for me is Herodias laughing. At the same time, this is one of Salome's motives, her, her very strange, mysterious nature. Right? All this stuff is going on at the same time over a very funny bass line. Salome alone at the cistern waiting because she's seen the executioner go down and she's waiting for her head to come out and uh, poor Herod is getting very nervous he says I'm really sure that something terrible is going to happen everything gets very still and we hear this strange sound coming from the pit it's actually a bass player who is playing a very high note on the bass and it makes a very strange sound it's supposed to be like the groaning of a woman who is uh, obviously upset about something but um, you hear this thing and Solomon says I don't hear anything except the bass player in the pit um, why don't I hear anything from the cistern why isn't the man screaming down there? If someone were coming to kill me, I would certainly make noise. And you hear her getting very impatient because this is, I want that head. Right? I want the head of Yohanahan. Anyway, the music gets crazier and crazier. She finally hears some noise. Ah! Something has fallen on the floor. What was it? It was the sword of the executioner. He has gotten afraid and he's not going to kill him. And then she gets completely hysterical and she's screaming that somebody must go down there and take care of this. But at that big moment, we hear a big bass drum and the orchestra explodes with Salome's motive, which we've heard the whole opera. It's the first thing you hear in the opera, right? But now it's up in the violins against incredibly complex harmonies. So we're saying, uh, at the end, she says, give me the head of Yohanahan, I'm waiting. The timpani's beating away, the strings are screeching.
Salome theme, which we had earlier, when she was singing to Johanna on the first time. She has something to do with her strange nature, but also the positive, loving feeling she has towards Johanna. Han, is now in a minor mode, very dramatic and almost brutal. And also, right after she gets the head, she says, I'm going to take my teeth and bite into your lips like biting into a ripe fruit. Now, you may remember earlier, I said there is a motive you must remember. Right? When Herod offers fruit to Solomon and says, would you please bite into this fruit so I can see your little teeth marks and then I can eat the rest of the fruit. It's so disgusting. But anyway. But now we hear the same motive when Salome is singing it. That's kind of, what is that? Sounds familiar. Ah, that's right. She's saying, Someday he'll come along, the man I love. And even though it's just his head, that will be enough. I wonder if Gershwin got the idea from this opera. Anyway, when it finally resolves, we get the motive of I want to kiss your mouth, Johanna Hahn. And it finally kind of resolves in a nice way because now she can actually kiss it and she can enjoy the romance. There's no body, but the head is better than nothing. Anyway, it goes on and on, this scene, until we get to the end of the opera. But for the end of the opera, you're just going to have to come and see what happens.